YouTube, what's up? Riz here back with some more NFL mock drafts. Seven round team by team mock drafts. This video is covering the Dallas Cowboys. Now the Cowboys, I knew they had some needs. They had some holes on defense, but they have more than I thought. Now the Cowboys are a great team. Somebody had asked me in a maybe a month or two ago um, in an old mock draft. They asked me for a way too early Super Bowl prediction. I actually said the Cowboys. Now I think they can they can be a contender, but after looking at how many needs they have still, I mean it's not a ridiculous amount, but it's more than I thought. I think the Cowboys need to have a good draft here to be able to compete for that Super Bowl win. I think they can definitely make it there with that talent they have on offense, but they need some defense. I think defense is very important to have, obviously, and I think they can get it done in this draft. Could acquire more picks that can help them even more because they do have a few needs on offense still, but. Let's get into this first mock. First round, I've taken Quincy Wilson, corner from Florida. Now, they can go in a million different directions with corner. I think Quincy Wilson is, the best, in my opinion, the best option because he probably won't be there, but he has a chance to be there. So these are kind of grade A mock drafts. So chance to be there. I think if he's there, they have to take him. Solid corner with a ton of potential. Second round, I've taken Justin Evans, Texas A&M safety. So I have him going the defensive back route, which, in my opinion, is what they should do. Um, rushing the quarterback is very important. They need an upgrade on that, but the secondary is pretty weak, and they need a big upgrade. Wilson and Evans will be a major upgrade for them, in my opinion. Justin Evan, Evans is a round one has round one coverage talent, but his tackling needs some work. That's why he goes round two. Third round, Terrell Basham, defensive end on the rise. I think he fits the Cowboys, can help him right away. Fourth round, Adam Shaheen, tight end, small school guy. Um, he's on the rise. I would think more fifth round, but some, some people are talking third round. Um, they can definitely use another tight end. I can see them taking a chance on him. Sixth round, I have I had to give him Fred Ross, wide receiver, Mississippi State. Um, All-time leader in receiving yards, I believe, at Mississippi State. Dak Prescott, Mississippi State guy. I just had to give him Fred Ross. Um, definitely realistic. I can see them trying to get him. He could possibly he can go as early as fifth round. And but he possibly can go seventh too, so he kind of a big range. Solid receiver though, definitely a sleeper. Then two seventh round picks and having them grabbing another corner because they need it. Jeremy Clark, Michigan guy with a ton of potential, and D'Angelo Brown, another small school guy, D lineman, just to add to the depth. So again, I would like to have them get more picks so they can kind of cover more things here because all these I had them taking are are pretty much needs, pretty big needs. On to the second round or second mock draft. First round, Charles Harris, edge rusher from Missouri. I think he would even he could play DN or outside linebacker. I think he'd play DN for the Cowboys if they drafted him. Uh, late first round prospect. Second round, Cordrea Tankersley, corner Clemson. I know they like Tankersley. I honestly don't think it would be a bad pick if they took him late round one, but could also fall to late round two. Gonna be interesting to see where he goes. Third round, John Johnson, Boston College safety. This is one of the biggest risers in the draft. Um, solid safety that I don't think gets out of the third now because all the buzz he's getting would put, could possibly go fourth. Fourth round, our Darius Stewart, a great res weapon at receiver from Alabama. They can definitely use him um, with Des Bryant. It will open things up for Des Bryant and that entire offense. Sixth round, Jeremy Couture, cornerback from Middle Tennessee. Kind of a guy on the rise and also a kind of a, been a sleeper guy all along. Can make plays. Would be a great six-round pick. Then two seventh-rounders, Connor Harris, linebacker, small school guy with a ton of potential, and Farrell Brown, the Oregon tight end, would be a good seventh-round pick. That'll do it for this one. Please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and goodbye.